Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating that we don't have to compute the full DFT sequence for a given signal in order to compute certain values related to the DFT sequence. So, for example, given the sequence x of n, which is defined as the following sequence 3, minus 1, 2, 4, minus 3, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 4, 6, 2 and 5. So, given this sequence, we want to find the values capital X of 6, that is the value at k equal to 6 in the DFT sequence and the value of the sum, summation k equal to 0 to 11 x of k modulus square. So, we have to compute the energy in frequency domain or the term related to energy in the frequency domain. So, here the main idea is that in order to compute this x. So, in order to compute these two values, we do not have to compute the whole x of k that is whole DFT sequence. For example, let us look at x of 6. So, by definition the x of 6 can be written by using the definition of the DFT that is n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n and k is equal to 6 divided by here clearly n is equal to 12. So, the summation becomes summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n and this exponential function basically becomes e power minus j pi n and since e power minus j pi is minus 1 this summation and n are all integers is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 11 since n is 12 summation is from 0 to 11 x of n minus 1 power n that is e power minus j pi is minus 1 and we have power n. So, this is the summation. So, x of 6 is basically this weighted sum. So, for the given values of x of n this summation becomes 3 for the first term minus or minus plus 1 for the second term plus 2 for the third term and then minus 4 minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 6 plus 2 and minus 5. So, those are the uh, that, that this is the basically the weighted sum that is x of 6. So, uh, this value is basically equal to minus 13. So, x of 6 is minus 13. So, clearly we did not have to compute the whole DFT sequence to get this value. So, which is obvious for a single value. But now, in order to compute the this term that is summation k is equal to 0 to 11 modulus of x of k square that is uh, this is related to the energy term that is uh, 1 by n this summation is basically the energy. So, by using the Parseval's theorem this summation should be equal to 12 times that is n times the summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n that is modulus of x of n square. So, that means it is n times the energy. So, in order to compute this sum all we have to do is compute this term. So, we already know x of n. So, this is simply equal to 12 times uh, the squares of the all the values in the sequence that must be 9 plus 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 16 plus 36 plus 4 and plus 25. So, this should be clearly equal to 12 into 125 that means 1500. The summation is basically 125. So, 1 12 into 125 is 1500. Now, we can easily verify these values by using MATLAB. First, we have to enter the sequence x which is given as 3 uh, minus 1, 2, 4, minus 3, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 4, 6, 2, and 5. So, that is the given sequence. Now, we can easily apply the, FF, uh, the DFT that is by using the fast Fourier transform. We can easily find the DFT of the sequence. So, the DFT of the sequence is given by these values that is uh, x is given by this sequence. Now, clearly we want the value at x 6 that is k equal to 6. So, in this sequence it should be x of 7 which is clearly equal to minus 13. Therefore, when we go back to our derivation uh, when we did this x of 6 the value of x of 6 is found to be minus 13. So, similarly we can also verify the value of this summation by using this uh, uh, calculation that is we can verify both uh, the you know, the first one is we can verify uh, 1 by n 
uh, that is 1 by n summation is 125 but the given uh, question is basically the summation of the absolute values of the dft sequence which is clearly equal to 1500 so to summarize basically we have looked at an example uh, that illustrates we don't have to compute the whole dft sequence in order to compute certain values for example given the signal x of n which has these 12 values we wanted to find x of 6 that is capital x of 6 that is the uh, value of the DFT sequence at k is equal to 6 and for this one we found that it is basically a weighted sum of the input values where the weights are given by minus 1 power n so by simply using the input values and this formula we found the value of x of 6 so it doesn't require the calculation of all the rest of the values and similarly to compute the sum of the absolute value squares that is basically 1 by n times the or basically uh, n times the energy value so for this one also we don't need the values of the dft sequence so we just use the parseval's theorem and find this uh, summation that is we can directly find the summation by using the uh, time domain values so in this case it is found to be 1500 and we also verified the values using matlab that is by looking at the sequence x uh, which has all these values from 3 to 3 minus 1 2 4 minus 3 minus 2 0 1 minus 4 6 2 and 5 so given this sequence we found the dft and we can verify the value at uh, k is equal to 6 that is in this case x of 7 which is minus 13 and we also look at the uh, sum of the absolute values of the dft sequence which is found to be 1500 so that verifies our result thanks for watching